Pro Video Player is a powerful video presentation tool that excels at real-time effects, multi-video playback, and multi-screen environments. So let's take a look inside Pro Video Player 2. When you first launch Pro Video Player 2, you'll see the Setup Wizard. This is also accessible under the View menu at any time. And everything can be configured at a later time, but the Setup Wizard is just here to help you get going quickly. Now, the first thing we need to do is identify our displays and set how many screens we have. You'll notice by this red one on my screen that this display is being identified as screen one, and I have a secondary screen that's being identified as screen two. So we're just gonna go in here and set that we have two screens, and now we can assign them to our outputs. We can set our color LCD or our Dell monitor, or we can set assign later and it's going to ask us for the screen resolution of the display that will be attached at a later time. So I'm going to do assign later for both of these and we're just going to set it to 1080p. This is really helpful because now I can design a show without having to have any of my displays attached to my computer. Now we can go in and set our arrangement. We have horizontal, vertical, grid, edge blended horizontal or edge blended vertical. For now we're just going to say maybe vertical is how our layout of our screens are gonna be. Then we can click on Next, and it's gonna ask us to add a layer. I'm gonna get into more detail about layers in just a minute, but by default, it's added one layer for us, and we can hit Finish. One thing to know, all of these settings are saved in your show file, which allows you to work on multiple shows from the same machine without affecting other shows. So now let's take a look at the interface. In the center we see a familiar grid layout of video clips we can play back. This is part of our main library, but you can also choose from live video or any custom playlist that you may have created. Above that is our clear buttons. We have clear all and clear layer, and if you have text stream enabled, you'll also see a clear text button. On the right side of our interface, you'll see our preview area where we can see the actual layer that's being played or a larger view of all of our workspace and all attached displays. And below that is all of our effects that we can apply. One of the powerful features of Pro Video Player is layers. And by default, the layers panel is hidden. To view it, we can just go to view and show layers. By default, we have this default layer and we can go into edit and we can edit our outputs, our layers, and our targets. So let's talk about outputs, layers, and targets so we get a better understanding of how Pro Video Player works. First, outputs are all of the physical displays that are attached to your computer. And in Pro Video Player 2, you can use as many displays as your computer can handle. Now, layers are essentially video channels, a way to play back content. You can only have one video per layer. Now, the way these layers get displayed is via targets. You can have multiple targets on one screen, or you can have targets that span across multiple screens. So let's take a look at how this works. To access the Layout Editor, we can either go to View Layout Editor, or we can hit the Edit button. You can see here we have our two outputs which are currently disconnected. We can easily reconnect them by selecting an output and then selecting one of our attached displays or we can right click and attach a display from there. Next we can go to our layers and you'll see that we have one layer with two different targets. So let's see how the video plays back. So with our default layer selected, I'm gonna grab a video clip and you'll see that it plays back in a tiled fashion across our two different displays. Let's clear that out and now let's edit and let's add a new layer. So I'm gonna add a new layer. So we have layer two here that we can rename at any time and then below there you'll see we have one target. I'm gonna take this target and I'm actually going to stretch it across both displays and now let's see how that plays back. So I'm gonna grab that same video clip in layer two and play it back and you'll see that it's spanning across both of our displays. So now let's take a closer look at our output editor. So what you can see here is we have our two displays stacked on top of each other. But what this is actually showing us is a visual representation of the physical space that our displays take up. 
So what that means is maybe our center screen on our stage is here, but we also have a plasma display for our presenters. Now that display is actually a lot smaller physically than this display. So we're gonna scale this down to show that it takes up less physical space and we can go in and adjust our layers accordingly. So we have our center screen here and then down on the stage on the left side, we have that plasma display. So now when we go here and select our default layer, that targets in the right spot. This one just needs to be scaled down a little bit so that's the same size as our display there. And then layer two, we want to span not only across our plasma display, but up onto our video screen as well. So now let's see how this content plays back. So with our default layer selected, I'm gonna play back some content and you'll see that it plays on our main screen and then this plasma display down on the stage. And it's doing that in a tiled fashion. However, if I go to layer two that spans across both screens, you'll see that our video spans across both screens. And if I go to edit, I can actually move around these outputs and this acts as a window into our target layer's content. So when I move this around, it's moving it around inside of this target layer's content that's being shown. One other thing to note is that in our layers stack here, the layer furthest to the right is highest in the stacking order. So if I clear layer two, you'll see that our default layer's content is still playing back. So hopefully now you have a better understanding of how Pro Video Player works and how outputs and layers and targets work together to help you create dynamic presentations.